And so I would lose fing lose feeling in the these three fingers or these two fingers. So that's a median nerve or the ulnar nerve. I'd roll the other uh, roll on the other side. The diaphragm would stop. I'd lose finger feeling in those fingers or the other fingers or all the fingers. And um or they would turn white. So circulation was so I don't I can't remember. I have photos in my last phone where I would quickly turn the lights on it and you could see the white fingers only selected white fingers because this uh blood flow is being cut off to the top arm, not the arm that I'm laying on. So nerves are being pinched in pinched from my shoulders caving in. I don't know why my shoulders are caving in and crushing me. When this, for a couple years, when this injury took place, it, it's like, you know, right where your shoulders attach kind of the division between your shoulders and your body. It was like someone was cutting me with a knife on either side when I was upright or when I was laying down, it was like someone was cutting me with a knife. So I think root nerve damage, I'm not sure. And so even, even today, five year, I'm, you know, I'm off that medication for five years. I'm off the other medication for three and a half years. My shoulders are crushing me even upright, but in bed, my shoulders are crushing me. So when I'm in bed, I have to, I have to spread my, you know how you want to curl up in a fetal position? I have to spread my arms wide apart. And I, I have foam, stacks of foam pillows. And my arms have to be supported in bed. Uh, I have to keep wi wide open, otherwise I'm crushing my own body. So I have to sleep on my side, but I have to keep my chest wide open to, you know, or I I'm still waking up and I can't feel my hands. And another thing, and, and I couldn't lift my phone in bed for a couple years. I literally couldn't my phone was too heavy. I literally couldn't lift my phone in bed for a couple of years. My legs, same time this happened, the damage to, I guess, the nerves in my legs. Um, if I was upright, I couldn't cross my legs. I literally could not lift my legs up to cross my legs. But in bed, I couldn't lift my arms or legs. I could not lift my arms or legs in bed. When I got into bed, I was trapped in my body. I couldn't freely lift them, like dead weight. And um, my top leg is like crushing my bottom leg. I've had pillows and things under my arms and legs for, I don't know, four years until I figured it out. It took me about a year to figure out maybe putting buying foam supports would help help me support the arms and legs at night and not feel so much like they're they're crushing me to death when this injury started the bottoms of my feet ripped my arches tore my breasts feel like they were ripping off of me like damage to to tissue i've been sleeping with a bra on for almost five years and at times i'll put a wire bra on to sleep in like i've slept with supports under my breasts my body feels like it's ripping apart like and not just the breasts but the the flesh all around all around me f felt like it was ripping off of me and it's it, and that has visibly turned to mush you know 
Um, and my legs started rubbing together. And I know a lot of people, their legs have rubbed together all their life. My legs are not overweight. They're rubbing together now because the muscle or the flesh has ripped away and become lax or, or atrophied. So now the everything's just loose and hanging. Um, 